So you have a JSON file that you need to import so you can actually export as Excel or do some analysis in Power BI. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a few clicks. So let's jump over to my Power BI desktop. So I have a link to the JSON file that I'm gonna be using in this example so you can follow along and that's in the description below. So once you've got that JSON file downloaded or your own JSON file, all you need to do is simply go up to get data and then under get data, just go to more. And then once you're there, you should see as the fourth option JSON, but what you can do is just search for it here if you need to. So if you start typing in JSON, it will then give you the actual result. And then what you want to do is just connect. And then you get the option just to go and find the file within your browser. Just find the file, click on it, and then it will load in just like this. And then what you see is all of it's been converted already. Now, the great thing about Power BI or Power Query in this instance, which has actually done the actual transformation and load, is normally where you have issues where you normally import JSON files. You get where it has different returns to it. So a good example is like this one here. You can see it's actually gone onto different lines. Now, if you were to import that normally, how that would normally look, depending on which program you're using, it would then create an extra line on your export because it's seeing that as a return and it puts in a backslash N or a backslash R. But what Power BI does for you automatically is it converts everything. So it makes it automatically into a readable format. It's the quickest and easiest way to import JSON and convert it into a format that you'll be able to use. And to go through the different steps that all there are here, but technically you don't have to, done what it needs to do and you can export you can just change some of the types if you need to literally you can close and apply now and then you have your data first thing it's done is go to where the json file is and then pulled it in and then created it as a json record as a list and it converts that list into a record so if we go into here and then just look at the record you'll see it has information that has come through with the different column names we bring this up a little bit makes it a little bit easier to read you can see it has the record the id it has all the different parts of the id that you see on the json file and then what it does it converts it to a table so then you can actually go into the record and now it's ready in the table format be exported so it gets expanded and then basically it expands this information which is what it does here and because it's expanded now it's now giving you for each record all the columns all the information in and as you can see we've got it all along here all the different bits of information and then if we go back if you look at what the final output ends up looking like there's a lot more columns and that's because it's nested in different columns and then one thing that needs to happen is that then you need to break out the information that is under the user so now user has become instead of just user and then you've got all that information on here this is going to get broken out into its own section with user and then a slash and then whatever the different parts are so you can have user id user id string user name user screen name etc and if we do that you can see it here so you've got user dot id user dot id dot string user dot name and it's just created it so you can see what the first part is that's broken out which is the user and then giving you the second part to it and these can all be renamed later on but it also does the same with the quoted tweets in this example data set and also the quote tweets. So all it's doing is basically just finding a column where there's more nested information and then just expanding it. So suddenly you just have your final table, which as you'll see has a lot more columns than I just showed just a moment ago. And it just goes on and on and on and on. And now you have that information. All you have to do is just click close and apply. And then we have our JSON table there. And if you click on it, you can now see all your information. And then you can simply, if you just want to export it all, you can just right click, copy the whole table and stick that into some Excel file. Or you can just start pulling in some of the information. So if you wanted to bring in say ID and then we wanted to go let's make id tech because scientific numbering and also i don't i want that as a unique thing that and let's drop it back in again and now you've got all your different ids and then we can put when it was created and then let's put in full text and we can see the text there and then if we actually open up our json file we can see how that looks for each one so let's go with one key value go into our json file search there it is and then if we go down the here all that full text is showing up within there and you can see you can now have all the information from your import of that json file in just a few clicks so simple so quick perfect for the job if you need to convert a json file so i hope you found this video useful and if you did please give a like and subscribe and if you want to carry on your analytical journey check out these videos over here and as always until next time